So now we're going to look at acid-base reactions. These are also called neutralization reactions. So we need to um, talk a little bit about what acids and bases are. Um, we've learned how to write formulas and names for acids. Acids tend to form hydrogen ions in solution. And we can recognize them easily because their formulas always begin with hydrogen. So it's like HBr and H2O, H2SO4. They, they start with H. A um, couple characteristics of acids are that they have a sour taste. Um, if you like you know, sour gummy worms or sour patch kids, I can't stand them because I don't like sour things. What's on the out, that, that white powdery stuff is acid. It's an acid. Oh, we're eating chemicals. Well, yeah, everything you eat is a chemical. It's okay. It's citric acid. It's isolated from citrus fruit, okay? That's why lemons are sour, because they have a lot of citric acid in them. But acids taste very sour. And acids can dissolve some metals. Not all metals, but some metals. Um, bases tend to form hydroxide ions in solution. And so we're going to recognize them as being metal hydroxides. So like F, well, like sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So you've got a metal and OH, and we're going to recognize that as a base. Bases taste bitter, um, and they feel slippery. So if you, you know, we use sodium hydroxide in the lab occasionally. If you get some on your hands and you, you rub your fingers together, it, it almost feels like you've got soap on your hand. And it's slippery because it's beginning to dissolve the layers of skin. Isn't that nice? Bases are really good if you have hair clogs in your bath, bathtub drain. Get a, um, a sodium hydroxide based drain cleaner and pour it down there and it'll dissolve the hair very nicely. Um, it, there are two kinds of drain cleaners. One has acid in it and one has base. The base one is great for hair clogs. The acid one really won't touch hair clogs, but it's good for other things. So if you look at the the fine print on them, you can tell which is which. Um, bases taste bitter, which is good because we shouldn't be eating bases because base, bases tend to dissolve human tissue. And so if you eat, you know, if you drink sodium hydroxide based drain cleaner, you're dissolving the inside layer of your esophagus and it's just really, really nasty. So bases are actually a lot more um, dangerous to us physically than acids are. That's just a real quick overview. Um, so here are some common acids and bases. Um, all of these acids, we see they start with H, and in their names they all have acids. So those are really easy to recognize. Here are some common bases, and they're all metals with hydroxide. It would be nice if they were called like barium base or something, right? It would be easier, but it's hydroxide. You can, you can remember that. And so when we look at their formulas, we recognize that they all have OH as the anion. And so those are bases. So in, a, um, in an acid-base reaction, we have an acid reacting with a base. These are called neutralization reactions because the acid and the base neutralize each other. And they're going to form water as one of the products. The other product is called salt. Um, it's not necessarily sodium chloride, though, because when a chemist says salt, they mean any ionic compound. So ionic compounds in general are salts. Table salt is sodium chloride. So here's the general form of these neutralization reactions. We have an acid. We recognize that because it starts with H. And we have a base, and we recognize that because it has OH. It's a sodium hydroxide. When these react, they form water, H2O, and salt. And what this really is, is it's a lot like those precipitation reactions. This may be coming up in another slide, but I don't remember what's next, so I'm just going to do it here. So if we treated this like a precipitation reaction and did the partner swapping thing, let's see what happens. HCl is aqueous. And that's going to dissolve into H plus ions and Cl minus ions, hydrogen and chloride. Sodium hydroxide is soluble, and that's going to be sodium ions and hydroxide ions. <coughs> so these guys, you know, these two couples went to the party and they're mingling about. 
So let's see what's going to happen if the sodium and the chloride get together or the um, these two guys get together. So over here we could write H plus and OH minus and then the Na plus and the Cl minus. Look those up in the chart and sodium chloride is soluble. You can find that out in the chart even if you don't remember. Oh yeah, table salt dissolves in water. So if we write the formula for that, it says NaCl and it's aqueous. H plus and OH minus. Well, plus one minus one, that would be HOH. It doesn't look right, does it? It looks weird. What if we wrote the two H's together? H2O. Oh, it's water. H2O. So this is one of those swapping partner types of reactions. We'll learn later that it's called a double displacement or a double replacement reaction. It's going to form water and a salt. So anytime we have an acid and a base, one of the products is water, and the other product is the ions that weren't hydrogen and hydroxide. Um, 